Rambam writes in Hilchus Tainus that there's days that call Yisrael fast, and they are Yom Shlishi and Tishrei, third day of Tishrei. There are Gedai ben Achikon, Asir b'Tevis today, Shivasa b'Tamuz, and Tishabov. A very simple question, and I think it's a very, very compelling question. There's a machlekes in the Gemara between Rabbi Akiva, Shimon, Rabbi Akiva said, and Shimon says, Rabbi Akiva, Darshan, one way, and I don't agree with him. And how exactly to arrange, the Pesach says, Sobor V, Soma Hamishi, Soma Shvi, and Soma Siri. So Rabbi Akiva says it goes according to the months of the year. Soma V in the Pesach is referring to Shivos and Tamas. Soma Asiri, Soma Hamishi is Tishabot, it's the fifth month. Soma Shvi is Soma Gedayu, which is the seventh month. And Soma Asiri is Asar Betavis, which is the tenth month. So it's clear that the Pesach tells us, according to him, it goes according to the Seder of the months. And the other mod number figures out that it goes in historical Seder of how it happened. The Rambam makes up his own Seder. He starts with the Seder of the year, not beginning. The Gemara says, Rabbi Akiva says, the Seder of the year beginning with Nisan. And so Maruvi, so Machamishi, so Mashvi, and so Masiri is the Seder of the Nisan year. The other one goes learns it's the, the how the events happen. Comes along the ramp, makes up his own thing. He starts with Rosh Hashanah. He starts with Tzom Yadayim, which was the last thing that happened. He goes to Asar Bateh, which was the first thing that happened. And then he goes to Shivos Abitamus and, and Tisha Bok. It's just like very unbelievable that he should feel he can improve on either the Psukim or Chazal. He made up his own calendar over here in the Rambo. I mean, he didn't make up a calendar. There is a year that starts with Tishrei, but that's not the way the, the Novi says to, to, to arrange it. So what is the Rambam coming here to teach us by, he could have done it very nicely in the, in the and by the way, he's in Seder's Manu, it goes according to the months of the year. You know, the Seder as Manu also goes basically according to the Rambam, according to the months of the year, starting with Nisan. So in Seder's Manu, where it normally goes according to the months of the year, starting with Nisan, all of a sudden, the Rambam Hilchus Titus decides to use a different calendar and uses the calendar that starts in Tishri. It's a, it's a serious problem in the Rambam. Another very difficult thing is that Rashi says in Brochus, the whole idea of well, maybe I'll say one more kasha here. The whole idea here is that the Rambam writes all this, is what's the reason for all this is, L'toyach, Darke, Atshuva, the whole idea of, of Tainus fast days was to awaken our hearts and to open them up for the path of doing Tshuva. Why isn't it Nilchus Tshuva? Why isn't it Nilchus Tshuva? For example, Yom Kippur has a lot of different aspects. Avoida of Yom Kippur is in Hilchus, is in Sefer Avoida. That's what it is. You know, it's in the Avoida. The Moloch of Yom Kippur and the fasting of Yom Kippur is in Sefer Zman. The Tshuva of Yom Kippur is in Hilchus Tshuva. But in the Rambam, when he organized Alochus, the, the dinim of Tshuva on Yom Kippur, he does a special mitzvah to be shov on Yom Kippur, he writes in Hilchus Tshuva. The fact that you have to not do Molocha, he writes in Zman of the Yom Kippur. And the fact that there's certain Karbonas, he puts in this section in the, in the Rambam, do the Karbonas, three different swarm. It's a very illogical, seemingly illogical, to tell me that the laws of the Tanesim, which the whole purpose is Tshuva, yes, of course they come out on times. Yom Kippur also comes a time when you have that Tshuva of Yom Kippur, he puts that in the laws of Tshuva, not in the laws of Yom Kippur. Why does the Rambam write the dinim here of the Hilchus Tainus in the, in the laws of the Yom Kippur, rather, I mean, the day of the Tainus, rather than Hilchus Tshuva? 
there's a day with a special din of tshuva. Just like in, in Yom Kippur, there's a special dinim of tshuva and Yom Kippur are in the laws of tshuva. Why isn't the tshuva of the fast days, which is really only for basically for tshuva, in the laws of, of tshuva? You want to talk, I mean, is it, that's like the whole significance of it. It's a little bit of a hazard. And there's no mention of it in Hilchus. Tshuva regarding the Tanes. <coughs> you know, very interesting, the Gemara tells us in Baruchus the whole idea of Tainus. The Gemara says, what's the main thing of the Tainus? The main value of the Tainus? Or is it Agra the Tainus Siddhokasa? The value, the main value of the Tainus is Siddhokasa. It's a little difficult. <laughs> Ramam says the main value of the Tainus is true. The whole purpose of the Tainus, the Gemara says, Agra the Tainus Siddhokasa. Let's see if we can answer that. Well, listen to what Rashi says. The simple shot, someone told you the value of the fast day is Siddhokasa. So it means that part of the avodah sayom is you should give tzedakah. You should you should give tzedakah. But part of the tzedakah, you have a special kriya Torah or fasting, and there should be there's a special Indian to give stuck. That would be the simple reading of the Gemara. It comes along Rashi and says, "Shinoistin stuka la Arab the parnasas hanim shusan hayom." The stuka you give after the times. Like the, for the people that fasted today, the money you give them, that, why is he taking out of shot in the Gemara? The Gemara says, Agra the time is Siddhartha, we need the mitzvah of Stalker. One would think it's the Stalker you give today. So mitzvah Sayon to give Siddhartha. Comes along Rashi says, it's Stalker you give tonight, after the time is. Rashi says something here. Another very interesting halacha here is the din of tshuva, the Rambam in the laws of tshuva and in the laws of the tshuva of Tainus, he holds all the time the main mitzvah is vidu. Vidu is the main mitzvah. He brings and heals his tshuva, the mitzvah's esed, the rasid, his vada. The confession, the vidu that we did this morning, that's the main part of tshuva. That's the mitzvah of tshuva, it's not tshuva, the mitzvah is vidu. It's the same thing over here. It's vidu here. Except you see, that's an unbelievable thing. The vidu of Hilchus Tshuva is a posik and parshas nosso. Vizvadu es chatoisa. But you have to, when you do asher me'ilus, it's not enough to make restore the money, you also have to be vizvadu. Here he brings a posik and parshas pechu koisai. She never is vado a savoina, the savoina voice. What does this mean? What's the shot, the pusser? I understand, I have to be this All of a sudden, I have to make my parents sinners. My head with your parents, they also are sinners. You know, very unstickle, unbelievable thing. V doing myself, okay, but it's two different sukkim, too. It's really a cash on the pusser, but it's very interesting that the Rambam brings the law of V doing on. A tainus today is different than the vidui of the regular. A regular sin on the svad on my sins. Here I say, I'm a sinner, my parents were sinners too, which itself is a, a to me, a of what we're doing over here. In order to understand this, I want to begin with the Gemara Kedusha. Very has some, besides huge halakhic ramifications, practical ramifications also. The more is the contradiction. Actually, the more brings two psukim that are the same question on both psukim. One pasuk says, Imru tzadi ki tov ki, ki prima lem yochem. Talk about tzaddik tov. So the more is the kasha. Is there tzaddik tov or tzaddik? It's not tov. I mean, the word tov is, is redundant. You say tzaddik, it means tov. No, the more says the tzaddik tov and the tzaddik not tov. What is tzaddik tov? 
Sadik Tov is Tov Shemayim Tov Bris. What is a Sadik Sheena Tov? That's Tov Shemayim Varala Bris. I guess this people, most people must learn Shat and Gimar. Okay, I steal from people. I'm not a Sadik Tov. But it's Sadik I am. But that's what the Gemara said. Sadik Tov is Tov the Shomayim and Tov the Breeze. Sadik She'en a Tov means someone who is Tov to the Shomayim and he's not Tov the Breeze. We'll see what that means. I'm just joking. That's not the Shadik. Then the Gemara has a similar question. Another question. Oyelu Roshe Ra. Woe to the Roshe that's evil. If I think about cash is the Russia that's raw, the Russia that's not raw. The Russia, by definition, is evil. And I said, no. If he's raw, the Shomayim and raw, the Brias, that's a Russia raw. If he's raw, the Shomayim and not raw, the Brias, that's a Russia that's not raw. So I guess we could say the same thing. Raw, the Shomayim. Hey, let me tell you Rashi, but I don't want to get it to. Oh, it's the wrong shot. Rashi says like this. Rale, let's say Rale Shemayim, not the breeze. I don't keep kosher. That's Rale Shemayim, I'm not Rale the breeze. What's Rale Shemayim, the Rale breeze? Ganeth and Gaza. Ganeth and Gaza means what people might think that somebody who's an heir of a Jew, but he steals, is told with Shemayim, just he's. Told about Rale Brius. That's the definition of Rale Shomayim and Rale Brius. And Ganeth and Gazlan is Rale Shomayim and Rale Brius. He doesn't listen to Hashem. He's bad to people. So some of the loose himself that I'm Machmer, Benodim Lamokim, is a Benodim Chaber. Geneva and Gezel is a Benodim Lamokim also. So a person who's not, not, Daikin is not meticulously observing Geneva and Gezela, is Rala Shomai and Rala Brias. So now we have an unbelievable Kasha over here. What is, so now we understand. If you do a Aver Ben Odom Le Chavero, you're Rala Shomai and Rala Brias. If you do an Aver that's only Le Shomayim, not keeping kosher, that's Rala Shomai, you're not Rala Brias. What's Tov Le Shomayim and Tov Le Brias? That's a person who does both. But what is Tov Le Shomayim and Ra Le Brias? If you're Ra Le Brias, you're Ra Le Shomayim too. The Gemara said that Sadik Tov is someone who is good Le Shomayim and good Le Brias. What's a Sadik She'en and Tov? If he's good Le Shomayim and not good Le Brias. What is the case of not being good Le Brias? What's the case of not being good Labrius? If you're not good Labrius, that's called Ralish. That's if you're Ra Labrius, you're Ralish Shemayim too. Ganav and Gazan is Ralish Shemayim, Ra Labrius. So where do we have? What does it mean? You're Tovel Shemayim and Ra Labrius. What is the Pshat and the Gemara? What is the Gemara saying? And Ganav and Gazan is Ralish Shemayim too. So how could you be Tovel Shemayim and Ra Labrius? If you're Ra Labrius, you're Ralish Shemayim. Shots like this. The Ganeth and Gazlan is Rala Shemayim. If you do something bad to your friend, you're Rala Shemayim and Rala Brias. If you do something right to your friend, Hashem says, give him stop. And you did stop. You're totally Shemayim. But if you don't do it because you, you care about him, that's Rala Brias. You're doing everything Hashem told you right. You're doing everything He said you're doing, and you're doing it right. However, you're not doing it in the way that your friend feels you care about him. That's Raul the Breeze. <laughs> no, I don't think it's no, I don't think it's possible to learn the Gemara any other way. If you do something evil that Hashem said, don't do to your friend. That's Raul the and Raul the Breeze. Tov Shemayim means I'm listening to HaKadosh Baruch I'm doing what he told me to do, but I'm not communicating to my friend that I care about him. I'm only giving, you know why I'm giving him stalker? Because Hashem told me to give him stalker. That's Rav Shemayim. That's Tov Shemayim, but Rav Abriyas. I'm not communicating that I care about him. 
the soul of Ben Odom Lechaveros is not merely not injuring the person, not merely doing the things you're supposed to do for him, you are mechuyiv to give it over to him in a way that you care about it. That's the yisod. You have to do it in a way you care. Because the tachos of the Jew is to do it in a way that he cares about his friend. is a very interesting Yisod in Hilchus Brochus. Kol mitzvah sasei she bein odom makodesh borchu bein mitzvah she choyve bein mitzvah she eina choyve mevorech aleim koyve masos There's a, in every mitzvah that I do I'm a choyve whether to make a brocha. The Rambam is careful to write she bein odom mevorech comes along with the Kesset Mishnah and says, Mitzvah Shebein Od Mechavero, you don't make a bracha. The Rambam holds when Mitzvah Shebein Od Mechavero, you don't make a bracha. The way we're explaining that, the Rambam is beautiful. The Rambam holds that the tachlis of the Mitzvah Shebein Od Mechavero is not just to do the action, but to show you I care about you. I have to feel that I care about you, and not only that, he also has to show I care about you, and therefore if I make a bracha, what I'm doing is undercutting the mitzvah, that I'm not doing the mitzvah in its shleimus. Normally when I make a bracha, I'm doing is, I'm enhancing the mitzvah. Here, making a bracha is detracting from the mitzvah. Why are you doing this? Because Hashem told me to do it. Why are you giving me to stop it? Oh, what's on Hashem? Hashem told me, that's, that's minimized, that's a minimalization of the mitzvah. Because part of the mitzvah is, and it's shleimus, is I care about you. I'm a rala bris, if I don't care about you, and if I make a bracha, the message that I'm delivering is I'm doing it because my mother told me, or my father told me, or the Rebani Shalom told me. That's not the right way to do a Bein Olam Chavegro, therefore there's no mitzvah. The Rajva and all those that are cholent that say there is a din to make a brach on a bein adum lechaveru, and they give very specific reasons for any mitzvah. That that's not that they're disagreeing on the principle. A lot of the tachlis of every bein adum lechaveru is because I want to do it a hundred percent, and therefore I want to do it. There'd be a reason to make a brach. However. The reason we don't make the bracha, according to the Rambam, is because you're conveying the wrong message. This is a machloitis in Alba Rishon. Everybody holds the tachos of the Ben Odin is, I have to be the Hopis, Damas, the Boyre, the Dothkabo, the Lach, the Bedrach, the Imitated Dia, I have to be like a Kosh Borcho. I have to have the, become the kind of person that is like the Bari, who cares and is giving and is about to do chesed. Except the Rambam holds the mitzvahs that the recipient has to feel it too. And the Rajman, the may hold, not the recipient has to feel this, the giver has to be that kind of person, but that's not mukhrat that you have to give that message over to the recipient. Bein Adam Lamakim I do because I'm obedient. Bein Adam Chaver is because I became, I have to become a generous person. That's the mitzvah. But whether or not that, gener that I am generous and caring about you is a tenai in the, in the shleimus of the Bein Adam Lechaver, that I have to be that, or as the shleimus means, you have to understand, the recipient has to understand it. The Raj holds the recipient has to, the Rambam holds the recipient has to understand it, therefore there's no bracha. The Raj holds and the may that the recipient doesn't have to think, but you have to be a person like that. So of course you should have to make a bracha, except the so you're not going to, you may not have the case. He'll die before you give him the food, the mail, it's not worth it, but it might be a reason to make a bracha. The tachos of the Ben Odom Lechaveiro Mitzvah is that I have to feel 
my friend's pain, I have to feel his need, I have to care about him, I have to want to help him. The machloikas, the dakas machloikas between the Rajbin and, and the Rambam is whether or not it's enough that I feel it or I have to make sure that the recipient feels it also. Very interesting, uh, I mean, by the Rebbe Shalom himself, it's hard to know whether he does, did it in such a way that indicates to you that he had, that he wants you to feel it that way, or it's just intellectually you understand from the fact that he's doing it. And the Rambam holds, you have to give that over. Yep, that's part of the way he has to, we want him to feel. And according to the Rambam, according to the Rajput, it's enough that I feel. And therefore, there'd be a reason to make a brook. The Rambam actually also, this, when I told the Rambam was in Perik Yud Aleph and Hilchus Brochus. Perik Aleph and Hilchus Brochus, the Rambam, the Raj, I think everybody agrees to this also. This is the Rambam's Lashem. Perik Aleph, Malachi Gimel. Kishem, Shemivorchem al Hanoye. Kach Mivorch al Kometz. Just like you make a birchus hanenen, you make a birchus hamitzvus. Which means the Rambam is telling us that a birchus hamitzvus is also a birchus hanenen. And that means like this, that the idea that I have a good feeling, and the idea that I have a sense of, of aliyah, and the, and, the va and the feeling that I have grow, and it's not schwer to sein a year, is the definition of why you make a birchus ha. Even by Ben Adam Lamokum, is the reason you make a broch is because the feeling of, of the aliyah and joy, either you can't have, with that feeling you can't have without making a broch, it's almost like a birchus ha. Or, as you say, that there is a hanno here also, and therefore in that hanno I'm giving a shvach v'hodoy. But for sure there's a hano, the Rambam says, in doing a birchus, in doing a mitzvah, there's a hano. There's a hano. It's not the hano from the chayf, it's the mitzvah. Because that would be a mitzvah of Abba Hennessy, who sued you like what Benjamin Manova points out here on this Rambam. But it's certainly from the obedience, from the shaykhus. You know, if you so I can have hano, like the Masil Sushorim says, the, that the, the, the yesoid ha yesod, this is to understand that mitzvahs were given the person to be nanami ziva shkina. So from the relationship, there's an incredible hanot, and the bracha is for the hanot. That's why bein on the mokum, bein on the chaver. According to the Rambam, that's from the shayach Hashem. By bein on the chaver, it's not only from the shayach Hashem, it's the fact that I feel tremendous aliyah of, in my mitzvahs of, of the shleimus of the tzelum and the musa, that, that I have a tremendous aliyah, that I have a feeling for humanity. And the Rambam goes one step beyond that, that it has to actually be conveyed that feeling to the recipient also. That's the Yisoda Brachas. Which mainly means there's no doubt of any kavona on the mitzvah ben Adam no, you know, Everybody talks about it, most, everybody agrees that on ben Adam Chavera there's no doubt of mitzvah srichas kavona. They all say, Svars, but I think this is really the underlying Yisod HaYisod of so all the Svars is the Taklas of the Bein Adam L'Chaveru is to be the kind of person that cares and to do it out of a feeling of caring for the person and the Shleimus HaMitzvah is my sense of caring that's the key of HaMitzvah is the human being who's developed himself and become a lot of the development of himself over the years to be Muslim, the Selim of a person, the Muslim of a person, to be Mustamatakonish to become a sensitive, caring, feeling human being. That's a, that's a mitzvah. That's stuck in all the chesed I do for a person, that's the that's the expression of that. And therefore there's no din of Mitzvah Srichas Kavona in this. It's not posh, it's not shy of the Mitzvah Srichas Kavona. According to the Rambam, not only that, what we're saying, according to the Rambam, it would even be a, de it would be a decreasing of the mitzvah. Not only you, sh you don't have to, you shouldn't do that. I mean, you know what it would be? Somebody asked me, please pass this. You're sitting at the table, can you please pass the, uh, the, uh, the water? Okay. On the edge of the mitzvah. 
It's ridiculous. I mean, it's not, it's not a real person. A real person, when somebody asks him for something, feels that he wants to do it. He feels he wants to do it. I mean, this is not the time now he should remember Hashem is telling him to do it. And Hashem is not telling him to do it as much as Hashem is telling him to be kind, become the kind of person that, that, that has to do it. That, that I have to be before here. That's the whole avoid of a person to be that kind of person. Otherwise, otherwise doing mitzvahs is just some type of artificial action and getting credits. It's not about that at all. It's about being the kind of someone asks you for a toy, but you don't have to, well, uh, maybe I should wash my hands and say, hey, you know, the zoom in before I... The whole word is not, mitzvahs is not just to pick up points. Mitzvahs is to be, especially the Vein Oma Havero, is to be developed to a feeling of, of caring and, and concern for somebody. And to instantly react to his need. Not, not to think about the mitzvah involved. There's no good of Mr. Smith's cup on him. It's already, I'm just being reminded, when you just says that it's, this is already, I and mean, it's pushing. There can't be a dinner of Mr. Smith's cup on him. It's not shy. It's like, the, it's the steer to understanding what a Ben Oma Chaveir is. Here, Rebbe Chonin says it has been, they all say it has been, but this is really the underlying, this is really the story of all that has been. The din of Ben Oma Chaveir is becoming a certain type of person. And in becoming a person, you have to be a real person. Someone needs something, you jump in and do it. The reason I developed myself like this is the Rebunish someone told me with Mitzavimi to be Malach the Bedrachim. But the Shas license is not supposed to be thinking about what I'm doing. It's like driving a car. You know, days you have a stick shift, you start thinking about driving the car. It's very hard to drive that. I put my foot down, it's very hard. You have to reach the point. A good driver has to reach the point that, I don't know if anybody here, those of you who have fancy sport cars, uh, <laughs> that uh, if has a um, manual train, you have to, if you start thinking about what you're doing, you're not going to drive so You have to get to the point that you are, it's just such a natural thing. That's what a bang on the Javero is. That's the abdomen to what bang on the Javeros are. Agar the tiny seduct of what Rashi is saying like this. All year, I'm really hungry. Really hungry. I'm talking about the chef, plenty of food in the refrigerator. Once a year, I'm hungry. I mean, not one, I mean, a few times during the year, I'm hungry. When I'm fasting, then I'm talking hungry or thirsty, whatever it is. Yeah. When I'm feeling hunger and thirst, what the Chachamim want, and what the whole idea that, 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 that of, a, of a timeless is, they want us to feel hunger and thirst. Why? Because then I can start feeling what a poor man feels. I can learn how to empathize with a poor person's hunger and thirst. He's hungry and thirsty almost every night. He has to get stuck. He needs money to help him eat. But Rosh is like this. Agra the Tainus Seduct. You want to know if you learned anything by fasting on Asar Batavis? After the fast, did you go and run to alleviate your hunger and thirst? Or did you realize that if you, now that you're hungry and thirsty, which is rare, there's people that are for sure, other people that are, are for sure hungry every day, but even tonight, and they don't necessarily have a place to run and go to. The stuff you give after the fast is moichiach, whether you learn the lesson of the fast. Rashi is telling you, agur the tainus, seducah means of after the tainus. It's not a din in giving stuka for kapara, stuka, tatsumi, mamas, or mavirinus, rayak, zayr, nothing to do with that. The din that reason fast days were instituted were in order to learn how to empathize with other people. To, to, to take the feelings that I don't usually have and to understand there's other people. And the litmus test is, what did I do when the fast was over? If after the fast was over, I ran to eat and drink, I didn't get the message of the fast. If I, after the fast is over, I, oh, I'm hungry and thirsty, somebody else is hungry, and I gave them, then I got the message of the fast. That's what Rashi said. So the definition of the fast is to learn how to empathize with our fellow man. That's the Takon and the things that are good from the Divre and the Vim. These fast days are halachas that we, it's not to be mitzar ourselves to suffer, 
It's, it is, but not for the sake of the suffering itself. It's in order to empathize with people than always, to get more, open myself up to identify and have a feeling of other people's sorrow. And that becomes, the proof of that is, how do I relate right after the fast day? Why is that the episode of the fast day? Why is the episode of the fast day big on the why is that? Agra the time is seductive, means the main value, the main value of the fast is seductive. And Rashi says that means taking care of the Amin after the fast. So it means the main value of fast days is to feel other people's pain and to respond to that. Why is that? What do what, 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 How come that's the main value of the fast day? Now we have to begin understanding what the fast days are. The fast days are not decrees on me. The fast days are decrees on the Jewish community, on the seaboard. That's, that's not a decree on me. I happen, to, I happen to suffer also for what the Jewish people suffer, but it wasn't a decree specifically on me. Corbin Abias wasn't a decree on me, or anybody says it was a decree on Klai the, 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 the all these were, were punishments against Klaiso. The din of a Gemara says, so we should understand this, the Gemara says that on a tiny seaboard, on every tiny seaboard that doesn't have Poshi Yisrael, it's not its feeling. On a tiny seaboard, you have to have the Poshi Yisrael. Because we learn out from the Kelvin, what kind of din? You have to have a shine coming in. What does that mean? What kind of din is that? Why? Why? I mean, I will tell you, some people say this is, you know, makes me look good. Because they come in, you know, they're terrible. I, I don't think there's a hobby that's the shot. Anyway, the Chelbana, the shot's like this. The word of the fast day is the shot. The word of the fast day is, I have to understand that I'm being inspired for the seaboard. I want the Rishon there because I'm responsible for them too. We're a community. And therefore the Rishon, if I go, I'm, ba I'm bothering for myself, I'm bothering for what I'm responsible. The Averis that I did. If we have the Rishon here and we're one group, means I'm taking responsibility for myself and for my Arvistic Achelic and everybody else's, which means there's a feeling on a tiny seaboard is that we have to recreate the seaboard. The definition of the seaboard means I'm responsible for myself, I'm responsible for everybody else, and I'm taking responsibility. I want them in there because I am taking responsibility to be the spouse that the, they should also be, they should also be improved and they should also be elevated. The whole din of the tiny seaboard, the steel on tiny seaboard, is not just to take off the decree. It's to, it's to recreate the chetz of tzibur, that we are all connected to each other, and we're all responsible for each other. And since we're all responsible for each other, we want them to show them there also, because we're taking responsibility for them too. And we want them included. We want they're part of the tzibur. We're not cutting them off of the tzibur. We want that they should also, that the aliyah, the growth, the tikkun, should be on them also. Every single Jew would take the responsibility for it. Even the Poshi Yisrael, if we're the doctor, we need the Poshi Yisrael because that becomes the litmus test how much responsibility I'm taking for the seaboard. That's the deal of the tiny seaboard. The whole word here is the avoid of tiny seaboard is that we have to dive as a seaboard, take responsibility for the seaboard, and therefore the din of the stuck it is, is the, the fast is to give us something we can identify more easy. I'm hungry. Doesn't mean you don't need to be a rocket science. I think there's probably other people that's hungry and start feeling it of empathy and caring for others. And for states, I care for their Gashmias, I care for their Ruchmias too. That's the feel. I have to care for their Ruchmias too. That's the din of the time. That's the din of the on the time of Seaboard. These Gazeras are Gazeras against the Seaboard. All these Gazeras were against the Seaboard. Now, it's true, in Bayez Shemi, it's very simple, because of the problem is with Sinas Chinam. Sinas Chinam, of course, the Tikkun of Sinas Chinam is I care and I empathize with you. We understand that. What about Bayez Rishon? 
Gimli Arai Shrikadon Avod Azari also had after Bias Rishon these days of, uh, of Tanesim. Same thing. It's just not, here's, I learn how for each individual that I, I care for. In Tainus and by Gimli Arai Shrikadon Avod Azari, there's also not every Jew that Gimli Arai Shrikadon Avod Azari Bias Rishon. Probably a very small amount of people did. Master from the Chazal, a very, very small amount. However, in Kol Yisrael, our Raven Zebazer, we have responsibility. So the whole word there is, like we said before, is that I'm teaching myself responsibility for every other Jew too. The Rishonim, the Poshi Yisrael, I'm taking responsibility for them. And therefore, that's the Tikkun of the Zeron, on the Tzibur, is that all of us that are part of the Tzibur, even if we ourselves didn't do the Aver, we are taking responsibility for all those that did, and when we do that, that's a tikkun of the chetz of Tzibur, and that tikkun of the, of the entity of Tzibur is what will eventually be miyashiv, the, the uh, take off the, 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 uh, the gezerah. That is for sure the din of Vidu over here. Here's the kasha, the din of Vidu. He do you learn how to have to be misbah? What am I being misbah on? I blame my sins, my father's sin. What does that mean? The din of the tefila of of the doing of the tainus seabor is an oynish on the seabor is not only a seabor is and in halacha is an entity seabor like mace. It's not shayach shinu bialim. The Gemara says on the seabor. The seabor is an eternal seabor. Klaus was an eternal entity. <laughs> Eternal means it's not just the people that are here now, it's the people that will be here, the people that were here, and therefore the din of Vidui over here is that Seymour needs Vidui. We're being the Svado and the Seymour. We're being the Svado and everybody's sins, and the earlier generations also are being the Svado and their sins, because we need a Kapar, that Seymour needs a Kapar. The whole idea is we have to realize well, these are decrees against the Seymour, and it's our responsibility to fix up the seaboard, not to save ourselves. This is not about a personal saving. This is about saving the seaboard. And saving the seaboard means that Rambam says the way you save the seaboard is you take responsibility for what the seaboard did, your misvata, which is the acceptance of the responsibility for the seaboard. By Yochid, it's the responsibility for yourself. Here it's the responsibility for the seaboard. I'm taking responsibility for the seaboard. That's why you have the Poshi Yisrael. That's why the Vidu is from a different Pesach. If it just would mean for my sin, one thing. But I do, as the Pesach says, as I blame them, as I don't, I voice them, because it's the Tzibor. I'm taking responsibility for the entire Tzibor. That's, that's the din of what, and what are we doing to ensure we should become Tzibor? Besides that we're davening, but we're also working in Stoka, which is the agra, the time of Sudoka, is we are doing things to teach ourselves and to learn how to internalize a feeling of caring for others. That's the whole avoid of, 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 of a time is for us to learn how to care and feel and sense a connection to the seaboard to others. It's not only about me. And it's not only the void of the other people living today, it's a much greater thing that's connected to the seaboard, connected to Israel. And therefore, it's not only on the present, it's on the past, too. That's the episode of what the Arbitanesim are. I mean, Mela, that's a whole different din than Hilchus Chuv. Hilchus Chuv is my personal responsibility for what I'm doing. This is a special din for what the Seabor is doing. I'm taking full responsibility. Each one of us is, you know, to the extent of you, we weren't better role models. You know, call Yisrael Arayim was at the We would have been a better role model, and today it's... Is my name, and we know that you know people that a lot of their problems that people do is because we don't exemplify what a Torah Jew should be. We don't exempt the needs. We exempt. We, we have we generate a feeling of entitlement and selfishness and self-centeredness. And nobody's that's 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 what it is. I'm not interested, and therefore we have because of our lack of. Of being proper role models, it's called Yisrael Rehmus. That is, that we have responsibility for the entire for what the seaboard did, and our invite here is to learn how to care and feel about the seaboard. That's why the Rambam switches the order. 
the Mitzvahs of the Tzibur of Knesset Yisrael, Akadosh Baruch Hu is the Melech and the word Tzibur, that's Tishrei. The Rambam is telling us that in Hilchus Manan, I am telling you here the laws of the Tzibur. He's not talking about here the historical of this and what the is kind of. He's defining for us that the Tzibur of Klai Yisrael, Akadosh Baruch Hu is the king and we're all his his arm or his seaboard that's created on Tishra. And the whole avoid of the Tanesim is to reinstate to ourselves and to be able to, to establish the sense of seaboard, the sense that we care for each other, we feel for each other, and his pain is my pain or my pain. I now understand his pain, and no matter who he is, Tzadik, Russia, or Poshi Yisrael, I, I'm, I'm working for him because I'm taking responsibility. And we all do have responsibility. If we act in a way that's improper, we're sending a message that that's not what, that's not, that, that, that somebody is discouraged from being an Ephraimia. And therefore we have responsibility and we're taking that responsibility. And we're not just trying to get rid of the decree. We want the decree to go off the sea. We're not to go, go off on him. On me and not him, on all of us. I want him here. I'm, I, he is part of the delegation. I want him here and I'm davening for him. And I want this decree to go off on him also. And we become so parochial that never we talk to think about ourselves and our type of Yiddishkeit and our, the group we belong to and the rest. Obviously, so there's a nation. And we need everybody to be that nation. Pleasure is really part of that nation. When the Daily Israel, the earlier generation, they heard of my section. Somebody told me that uh, he uh, heard from the driver who used to drive from Shlomo Zalman or by home uh, after the Shir and Kol that if there was a funeral of a Chayal, he would stop the car and say, Kapitel Tillo. See? He says, We all go to Kivre Tzadikah. That's key for it. The other ways to say the same thing is to shot anybody who's killed because he's a Jew is part of who we are too. It could have been us. It wasn't against him. It was against being a Jew. That's who we are. We have to understand that the ones that are being blamed out of mission and putting their lives on the line, that's for us too. That's for us too. And we have to remind ourselves where it's see It's not just our enclave, you know, because once it's our enclave, you know, it's not even the firm world. It's the firm world that's my style, my chassim, is my type of yeshiva. Understand what you do is it's either all of us or the none of us. Otherwise, it's just about me. And anybody that I want to add to me, and usually that group becomes very small. It's, it's about the tzibur. And the whole avoid the the whole avoid of the time is, is it was a decree against the seaboard. We have to be the, the, the zero on the seaboard. And the avoid is to work on the bain of the, the chaveros, which we start off saying is a feeling of tremendous care, love, feeling for that's the taco. That's the his damas, the din, the mitzvah has to be the damas, the boyry, the alach, the drachov, the sidbak is to emulate and the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu cares and feels and relates to us, we have to have the same feeling for, for Klai Yisrael. That's what we have. We have to understand it's Klai Yisrael. I mean, in the Pesha. It's not a tefillah without the Pesha Yisrael. Let me just conclude with everybody knows what's going on there. So let me tell you a story that happened last week. Somebody learned here in the yeshiva. I guess afterwards I'll say what it is. I'm the issue been learning there in Israel now about seven or eight years. He's married. He um, gets home to a bus and uh, sits down to a very old man. And says, what's going on? I guess he says, what is it with you guys? He thinks I'm Hebrew. You're You don't go to the army. You're parasites over here. I'm the issue. You're parasites over here. I know what I would say. <laughs> Let me tell you what he said. And he said, you know what, you're right, I love you. And you, I mean, I said, I, I was fought in the war. And I went to the war. I said, look, I appreciate what you did for me. I have tremendous respect for you and I have tremendous love for you. That's what he told me. A few stops later, that guy gets off. I mean, you know, he has to still, you know, giving him, gets off. He gets off the bus with the guy. He's an older man. There's a lot of packages. He carries the guy's packages home for him. 
you know, to show him this story. When I said I really respect and love you, that I know you fought for your life on the lid. Goes up, goes into the apartment, brings it in. Before he left the apartment, the guy started hugging and kissing. The old man started hugging and kissing. I would not shy after this. I'll play. You know, but I hope now that I saw this was my, by the way, this is Moshe Behar. So we all know Moshe Behar is not a parasite on the country. He's bringing more money into the country. He doesn't take one cent from the government. Everything that he's, he's a, a and he could have answered that to the government. Who you know I am? I'm, well, I live for money from Kutzlor. I'm bringing to the economy. I'm investing here. He would have, if that would have been me, probably I would have been, listen, I'm not saying he's the only star of me, but that's not me. No, you're right. I appreciate who you are. I appreciate what you've done for me and for Claudius Soro. You give that person that message, and you love her, and care for him. Instead of all the fighting and it's Shrek, with every day you pick up another mycin of a tremendous snob and cursing and spitting on from a yin, if you give them the feeling that you care and you love them, you love them, it can be helped. That's what our goal here is on on Tanesim. Tanesim, the avod of the Tanesim, is to learn how to empathize, and to understand that we're one and trying to take when we take responsibility for the affairs of the chilonim, that's our fault. If we would be different type we have so it's all our fault because we certainly have a big, big chilon. If we would be acting the way we should be acting, they wouldn't they would not be that way. We have a huge responsibility for that. We have to take responsibility for that. There's a such thing if we talk to do that. Which is really what the whole did of every Beit Adam Chaver is to become the kind of person that cares for everybody, he cares for his gashmis, his body, his ruchnius. But we undertake and we give over that message and deliver that message to them. We'll talk to be a tikkun of sinas chinam, become avas chinam, meshonah bolgim, meshonah bolgim. Amen.